Hello, and welcome back to another NFL season prediction video. This time, I am not playing as Patriots. I'm actually playing as Arizona. I had to make begun. sure Brady wasn't the starter to start gonna test the cover this game, this so I had it's to uh, make this quick adjustment. So, if you will excuse me for half a second while I just make sure this roster is how I assume it will be in the coming season. Yeah. Uh, you okay? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. 82. Whoever made this roster is very generous. Minter, Washington, Buchanan. Yeah, okay. So, sorry about that. Getting into the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona was... Quarters formation here for the defense. Man, I want to say the two seed last season. Palmer's back in shotgun they were 14 and something, and 14 and 3, 13 and 3, something like that. that Either way, Arizona was really NFL. good. Oh man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches now, like this. And just normally, so they I'll start with the wins the team set, but for Arizona, I'm going to start with the losses. The Patrick Chung makes the hit. Starting with to establish the Seattle. Run, there's nothing there here at the start. Well, I think Seattle will take a game time, in no Seattle it, but that's a bad just because, you know, back. they're both really good teams. The they're closely the competitive team. games. So I say that Seattle will take at least one game is of the two, and they will nice win job in the Seattle. The tight end makes the catch and you gotta look out for them now so, the entering their bye week. They're usually the Actually, closest receiver to the quarterback. quarterback gets in trouble. So, let's get into the victories. Starting with New England in week one. Without Tom Brady, New England will struggle against a great Arizona offense and an even better defense. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between and some And again, linebacks. Arizona's offense will make New England look like the without Tom Brady leading the team. Next. Tampa Bay. I mentioned in my Tampa Bay video, but Arizona is such a well-rounded team that I think their pass rush will get the better of James Winston, and they will take the victory. Next, Buffalo. Buffalo's offense isn't very, isn't a top tier offense, so I don't think they can compete against Arizona. Gets a good clean shot and I think the TV Arizona's offense will be able to make Buffalo's defense, you know, Devin worry quite a bit. The Next, the Los good Angeles Rams. The this will be a victory for Arizona. Being in position. When you're LA's in position, defense, you have a chance to although it's play. good, that time they did, they their offense the won't be able to compete for long enough. The and I say that Zona wins pretty time. easily. Same thing with San Francisco. San Francisco in the starters the at almost at every position. Yard line. So I truly think that Second San Francisco is not a good enough team to compete with Julian Arizona Edmund at this point. The, catch. the Jets, this is one of those Jets guys again, about receivers, no matter no who matter starts what, a quarterback for them, open. they're going to have the trouble tight, moving the ball efficiently against an Arizona defense that is going to be a top five unit in my one. mind. And, he's gonna be dropped for the sack. That's gonna and the Jets will not get the win. Argument in the Seattle series. game. Next, Carolina. I say that Arizona gets revenge and for so the we'll NFC title Allen game last year. And beat, Air, uh, beat Carolina. This will be a close game. It'll probably end up being my game of the week unless something else ends up being in that week. That's much better. That's a touch so, and the ball will be spotted I think Zona wins in a close one against Carolina. The Cardinals will line up now. So, Time entering your bye week, they are 7-1. and one. Zero to zero. 
Then they play San Francisco again. I say they win the 20. once again. Again, I don't think San Francisco can compete with an Arizona team that is one of the best in the NFL. Minnesota, again, well, Minnesota, very, very good, well-rounded team. And I, think I think Arizona has a slight edge due to their receiver the talent the and their overall and defensive like talent, or er, overall now, the star power down, on their defense. The He's as he throws. Next, the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta's offense is good, defense not so good. So I believe that Arizona will pick apart the Atlanta defense. Nicholas playing out of position in the backfield here. Next, Washington. I say that Washington also takes a loss for mostly the same reasons as a lot of these other teams. Washington, good team, but they're not up to the level that Arizona is in my personal opinion. Next, Miami. Miami is going to struggle greatly under Adam Gaze in his first season. Although they have a lot of talent overall, I think that they don't have enough you know, talent around Ryan Tannehill currently to ensure that he is a top talent or a top level guy yet. I still think they need to build around him just a bit. Good job that time by Hall Next, that pass. New Orleans. Now here's the toss. New Orleans is in Runs it across for the defensively score. a good Touchdown. team. I see this actually being a shootout. And with that trip to the end you know, high scoring game. Midway through the second quarter. Teams. I say uh, Arizona gets an edge late they would love to get after the defense found capitalizes. Have the lead because it just gives you confidence and Next, makes you feel Seattle. Good. And you can enjoy this is a that win in Arizona. Time. I think Arizona will take the victory with I guess it isn't too much to of a long one. shot. I think Arizona, again, is extremely good. Going this is retarded. I hate you, game. Why do you, like, touchdown. kneel down when you got it, game? And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. You can never talk enough about Seattle the NFL. victory. It truly is a again, close game. game. I think you guys only get the edge at home. Touchdown. And then in their so last game of the season, look at the barring the fact look that they the bench their starters, the either way, I think they take the win in LA. Peterson's gonna run this one out. So the Arizona Cardinals will end the season at 15 and 1. Before he's taken down. I truly believe that Arizona the can accomplish this. Honestly, here in the second looking quarter, at Arizona's the record, there is to seven. Three, maybe four games that I think they should really be worrying about. About when it comes down to if they can get it done, you know, offensively and defensively. Both Seattle games, I think, will give them a bit of trouble. I think Carolina will give them a scare. And if Tom Brady starts, New England. But again, it, that seems doubtful at this point. So, all that being said, let us get into my bold predictions. My bold predictions. I do one for every video. I do one for each of the position groups, including tight end, as I tend to bunch them in with receivers and I think it's a good one. Offensive linemen, kind of tough to do with bold predictions for an offensive lineman. And punches and kickers, because no offense, but who cares? Bullshit. No way. Yeah, fucking right. Holy Bill, shit. That's one of the best one-handed catches we've seen all year, isn't it? Jim, that's one of the best. You don't see many. Starting with quarterback, Carson Palmer will get, get more, even more consideration than he did last year for the MVP award. I say Carson Palmer has in mid-40s and touchdowns and the, the high single digits, Coming maybe eight when it comes to uh, interception. And will throw for close to 5,000, not exactly 5,000 yards. I guess it's not the too bold. The lead now I can go even bolder. To that yeah, you know how, look at that. I say Carson Palmer will break the NFL teams. touchdown record for a season. That's bold. That's how you do oh it. Gosh, they are down Carson Palmer will throw 58 to touchdown passes this year. Clock but not break the yardage record 
and will only throw Catches 10 interceptions. The two and starts his return. And tackles made right around the 26 yard so they're gonna line. Get bolder. The Patriots offense running is back. on the field, hoping to erase the memory Sharon of Staff their last Chris drive, Johnson. which was completely David Johnson will have an yeah, incredible was, season as defense, kind of you know, their do it all good. kind of tailback. I see David Johnson and Chris offense. Johnson both have I see David Johnson has a thousand yards and Chris Johnson has seven hundred rushing. But David Johnson makes becomes a real difference maker in the receiving game as he will have. David Johnson will have 500 receiving yards. It's third down coming up. And he the will Patriots have 13 all-purpose touchdowns. Down Nine rushing, four receiving. And Chris Johnson will have four rushing touchdowns the to go with his 700 yards. Wide receiver, Larry Fitzgerald will have a back at the line after okay that season. A That's down. why I'm here to talk about. John Brown will have a bounce back Blows. season back and make the Pro Bowl. Being the, the, the Cardinals' the leading receiver with, that tackle. It's now with over 1,300 receiving yards and, and not 12, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to say nine touchdowns. And only he will get all of that on less than 70 players, catches. Especially these receivers, they're so aggressive. So athletic, they go all out for every catch. Next, defensive line, Robert Kim DT will be a rookie pro bowler as he will record nearly 10 sacks. I'm going to say maybe 8 to 9. We'll have 13 tackles for a loss and 50 tackles total. That'll do it for the first half. We'll be sending you to and he'll get consideration to win rookie of the year as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. With this kick, the second half is underway. Next, and the linebacker. This one out. Still I say none of Arizona's linebackers tackle will hit 100 right tackles, but line. I'll go even bolder than that, and I'll say none of the Arizona linebackers that will start every single game will hit 70 tackles. Garoppolo has everybody split out wide for this snap. Let's go. The Patriots will take the snap from I feel the like if anything, that's probably Arizona's it's weakest it's point is their linebacking core. Down at the 33. And defensive back. I say that by the quarterback and it picked up a couple yards. Patrick Peterson and Tyron Matthew they will combine for 14 interceptions. Second down and seven. And overall, Arizona's defensive back will combine for 20 interceptions. And Matthew and Peterson will have 14 of them. I say Tyron Matthew has six interceptions, and Pat Peterson will record eight. Or vice versa. And then everyone else will follow out the rest of the set. Arizona's defense or defensive back will record 20 interceptions with Pat Peterson and Tyron Matthew recording 8 and 6, respectively. So, that all being said, with their 15 and 1 record, the Arizona Cardinals will end up being the number one seed in the NFC, the number one team in the NFC West, and I already said we'll make the playoff as the number one seed. Down the field. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten at a halftime on one of these. But, you got third long, but you must be for now, don't turn that's that. It over. Uh, coming so up next will be the San Diego Chargers. That's going to be fun. Open, but, long, that unfortunate. Is but for now, this is J-Wax. Signing off.